What's going on, guys? That was a pretty good one. All right, so what's going on, guys? I'm over here right now in Highland Park. I'm gonna be going around here, showing you guys the pros and cons, why people are moving to Highland Park. You probably clicked on this video either A, because you're thinking of moving to Highland Park, or you just wanna see some like really cool, expensive houses. So either or, come with me today. I'm gonna be taking you guys around. Let me uh, just check the old blind spot here and uh, we'll get right into it. I'm just gonna be going around. I'm gonna start on Mockingbird. I'm gonna head down, show you guys Highland Park Village, some of the country clubs, some of the parks, some of the houses being built in here, some of the old ones, some of the new ones, some of this, some of that. Check the old blind spot again, cause that is the uh, exit ramp for the Dallas North Tollway. So first things first, pro and con Dallas North Tollway. So you're gonna be really close to the Dallas North Tollway, which is fine and dandy cause you can go north, go south, get into Dallas super quick or get up into Frisco super quick. It's just, uh, you're also right by the Dallas North Tollway. So there's this, you know, you're, uh, you're by some pollution, some of those things, air quality, you're a little bit outside the city. So maybe that's just a thing to think about too, is that um, depending on where you're at within Highland Park, either you'll be kind of by 75 highway or the Dallas North Tollway. Um, that's another pro is that it's kind of situated in between two of them. But if you're one that kind of is worried about or thinks about you know air pollution, that type of stuff, definitely around this area, it's gonna have more of the bad air quality that you're gonna see. Uh, just because you're right out of the city. The kind of just the area where it's situated in is definitely closer in towards the city. Um, another thing about Highland Park, it does have a high cost of living, which is a uh, con for most people. But the thing with that is that, you know, you say you're hi from Highland Park, you're gonna get a little bit of a reaction. There is a little bit of a, like a stigma with Highland Park. Um, usually if you say like, I'm from Highland Park, people are like, whoa, big baller, Highland Park. It's kind of the same thing with like, when you say you're like from Frisco or like from Prosper, people kind of have this like uh, notion that you got a whole bunch of money. So that's the thing with Highland Park is that there is, there is a good amount of money down in here. All right, so this is Highland Park Village. This is just one of their shop, mini shopping areas around this. They have North Park Mall as well. Some high-end, high-end stores throughout here. So I did a little bit more of a tour on this and driving around. So if you want to see that, um, that was uploaded, um, I think I uploaded that about three or four months ago. But this is some of their stuff in here. Some of the shopping seems like they're updating uh, one of the parking lots in here. So a little bit of a detour, but um, I'll also go into uh, kind of the cost of uh, current homes, active homes, what's been selling in this market. But um, let me just take you, take you around some of the shops here. So another good thing about this area is that it is really safe. You're just a little bit outside of the city. So you're not really, really in Dallas. Um, you're just like one of like the first neighborhoods that's kind of, oh, look at that nice Porsche guys. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, what were we talking about again? Something, something important? I don't know, that was a crazy, that was the new GT3 RS. That was crazy. All right, and that's the thing, another thing about Highland Park, you come down here, you're just, you're gonna see crazy cars. Um, so anyways, let's get back into the pros and cons. What else? Uh, so it is close to Dallas. You are close to some of the other areas uh, within here. SMU is a close campus. So uh, if you have someone in your family that's thinking about going to SMU or something like that, that's not too far of a drive. That's just a little bit further. Um, you're located within Park Cities. Now Park Cities is kind of the bigger city uh, that Highland Park is attached to. Um, Preston Hollow is another big neighborhood, uh, another well-known neighborhood too that uh, has some really expensive homes in it. But um, yeah, so let's just keep driving down, show you guys some of the houses in here. One of the main cons I feel like in this area is gonna be just the roads in general. Now, the roads aren't too bumpy, they're not too bad in the sense of like the shape of them and how they are right now, but uh, I will say that it is a tight fit everywhere. So if you've got a Liberty Walk wide body 458 Ferrari, probably not gonna do well in this area. But you know, if you got like your nice little normal car, you can fit into most areas, but it is a little bit of a tight squeeze. And then I will say that the uh, there are a bunch of blind spots throughout here because it's kind of set up on a grid on these uh, one lane roads, which is just a little bit annoying. But overall, I mean, Highland Park is located in a pretty good area because you're just north of Dallas and you're just south of uh, some of the places that, um, people like going to like Frisco, Allen, and all that, but you can still be close down to the city. If you can notice though, 
I don't know, maybe you already noticed. Uh, there's trees. So we got trees, guys. Got trees all over the place. I mean, look at how big these trees are. Now, they've been here for like over 100 years and uh, and stuff. So this is why you don't see the trees like this up in Frisco or Prosper, any of that. So, uh, so yeah, that's another thing is you're gonna have trees, which is good because you want that, especially within this neighborhood because all of the homes are super close to each other. Uh, I think that's another con is you're gonna be spending, you know, $5 million, a $1 million, $3 million on a house and your neighbor uh, that's right next to you is just gonna be right by you to see into like your backyard and those things. So the trees like this add more privacy for the homes, which is, which is great. Um, Cause that's just the one thing that I would say that's just a little bit annoying is your backyards are just not gonna be as private as maybe say the $5 million house you would buy out in Frisco that's gonna be on multiple acres of land. Most of the stuff on here is on less than half an acre. I think there's maybe one, there's like two lots you could buy like over half a lake, over, over half a lake. Um, yeah, over half a Shaquille O'Neal, over half a lake. I did it again, over half an acre, because most of these lots go back vertical. They're not wide, so they go a lot deeper. But like I said, you do got trees. So that's the thing, that's a good thing, right? But, and there's also all different types of styles in here too. I think that's another awesome thing is that no house in here is gonna look like the same. They're all gonna be unique. Um, custom builders all throughout here. Um, if you are thinking about moving to Highland Park, send me a message, um, just text me Highland Park. I'll give you some more details on the, uh, stuff that's going on in here and what the uh, market's currently like. A little bit about the houses though. So most of the houses are gonna be built um, 1910, 1940s, 1950s. So a good majority of them have been remodeled or they're gonna need a remodel. If I go on the MLS and I see one that's in the low price range of like a million or two million floating in that range within Highland Park, it kind of tells me that probably it's not been remodeled. Um, usually a Un, a, a not remodeled home is um, kind of sitting for a little bit less than like say the ones that have been fully uh, fully remodeled within them and I'll get into some more details about what uh, what the certain prices are and everything over current actives right now another thing with Highland Park is that there is close public transportation so there's not really a uh, bus that runs straight through here or the dart but the dart is close um, there are some bus stations that are close where you could um, essentially go and be able to uh, get to other areas but um, that was just the other thing is that they're actually now that you're close to the city there is actually some other public transport but I mean if you're spending 10 million dollars on a house don't you probably have a chauffeur I don't know, that's none of my business. Anyways, let's keep driving around. So, and if you see on the right here, there's a new construction. So new construction is a little weird in here, right? So you're not gonna, you know, it's not gonna be like the other places, other cities that are building these crazy master plan communities. If anything, I've seen people buy homes, completely knock the home down and then put up something like this, uh, even bigger, and then just keep like maybe um, certain pieces of the house within it, whether it be the fireplace or something like that, just to give it a little bit of character still with the house. But for the most part, they don't have a lot of lots available. Now they do, and what I was hinting on before is that um, I was like looking on the MLS. You could there was one listing in here. It was two lots. You could put them together. A total of a thirteen million dollars, which is just like, huh? Okay, so let's talk a little bit more of the commute. So into the DFW Airport. A uh, little bit further, about a 30, 40 minute drive to that area, but Dallas Love Field is super close. So that's another area, or that's another airport people go to. Now, if you're flying out of Southwest, that's the airport you'll go to, but uh, essentially that airport's really close to here. That's just off, right off Mockingbird and Lovers and uh, over by the Bluffview neighborhood that I toured. That's another neighborhood I toured that's kind of like this one, um, but I would say that one's a little bit more hilly and uh, actually a lot more hilly. This one's more flat, flat land and not as many retaining walls and all that type of stuff. And a little bit noisier. So the, you'll see some planes fly overhead around here, but I don't think the noise is too bad. Over in Bluffview, it's a little bit, um, a little bit worse, but not, not too bad around here. Wow, just taking all the trees, guys. 
glad I came here during like the summertime when it's all green and everything. You can uh, get more of a feel and uh, the trees aren't like dead. And then within this subdivision, this area, there's no HOA. So that's just the other thing. And then, uh, and then yeah, here's one of the parks they have, one of the areas. Now they have like three, three parks around here and then they have their big country club um, the Dallas Country Club. I'll go there. Now that, that's got a starting membership of, uh, I don't know, about like $75,000. So, uh, yeah, so that's probably one of the most expensive. I think there's another one over in like Westlake, the care that might be a little bit more, but for sure the Dallas Country Club right here in Highland Park is going to be one of the most expensive memberships um, to go to at a country club. This whole area is just kind of set up on a grid for the most part. And what I mean by that is like, it's just like, uh, you know, there's no cul-de-sacs, there's nothing like that. It's just a one road that goes straight down uh, and then roads that kind of just intersect in between it. Um, there's not really any cul-de-sacs. And then uh, you're also in Dallas County. Did I talk about the population? I don't think I brought up the popu population. Population here, about 10 to 12,000 people within Dallas County and then the tax is 2.16%. All right, let me get back out to Mockingbird and then I'll kind of talk about some of the actives and uh, current prices around here while I head over to the Dallas Country Club. So currently right now they have an active that was uh, originally built in 1950s, got remodeled this past year. Currently listed at a little over $7 million. It's five, a little over 5,000 square feet, four bed, four bath, uh, 1,400 per square foot. And, uh, and then another one they have and I'll kind of pop up some pictures too of kind of the inside of that area. Another, oh, this this looks like a total debacle here. Another house that they have on like the really high end uh, was built in 1916, 5,479 square feet. Uh, also a four bed, six bath, uh, 2,372 price per square foot. And that is right around 13 million dollars and then on the low end in here they have a house listed in here at 1.75 million dollars 2915 square feet four bed five bath uh, built in 1945 going for a little over 600 per square foot so that just gives you an idea on uh, the current list so you got everything floating at like a million up to 13 million dollars depending on like how new or remodeled the house is all right go okay so we beat that traffic so over to the right is that highland park village i kind of drove through and then over to the left here once i get there you'll see the uh, dallas country club now for current closed homes in like the last 45 days um for example there was a four bed five bath five a little over five thousand square feet the contract on it was um on march 30th and then it ended up closing about uh, a month later and that house was built in 1996. First listed at 3.195 and then got bidded up and closed at 3.35 million. So this is one of the areas where you're gonna have the houses still be in that $3 million to $4 million range and get bid up pretty good. Now the million dollar range is out in like McKinney, Frisco, those areas, those don't get bid up so crazy. And that's just another con, right, about how competitive it is around in this market right now. And uh, is that a white lotus, Elise? Not too shabby. I'm telling you guys, come down to Highland Park if you're a car photographer and you'll get some nice pics. Come on, GMC. Come on, GMC. There we go. All right, so on the right side is the Dallas Country Club. It's kind of all hidden. I'm not gonna really be able to show you guys, but I just kind of wanted to drive by it. They are doing like a whole bunch of, yeah, there's the crane up there. They're doing a whole bunch of new reconstruction with it but yeah you need like a full membership pass to uh get into that maybe you guys could see a little bit into there but they got a whole nice golf course in there i mean it's it's really legit and then this is also a really awesome area to walk around and just really take walks down. It's so cool to look at these houses, especially during the winter. Uh, during that time, during Christmas, it is 
uh, super cool to drive down here and see all the holiday lights and everything all lit up and they'll, they'll put these trees they'll have all these trees lit up i think i've hit on mostly everything so i'm just gonna keep driving for y'all let's just go right here okay so here's a new construction house and then you can see on this left side uh, they got like a little back house as well so that's another thing here a lot of the houses also have a second little home in the back whether you want to turn that into the mother-in-law suite an airbnb or anything like that i know that there are people that do that um we'll turn that back house into like an airbnb um here on the right side that's more of the dallas country club in that area and then also within here there's condos and townhomes uh, those are starting at like six hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars, and that's not new construction. That's like an older house, two thousand build. Um, so even the townhomes and the condos within here are going to be pretty um, expensive. Okay, now we are on Beverly, and Beverly I would say is the one of the most expensive roads uh, around Dallas, around this area. Um, one of the most like historic roads too it's got a ton of old homes that's the thing about with this area too is that um the houses that are built like this nowadays um they're brand new but some of these houses have been here for so long and just have so much history with them it's also really cool to see uh, a lot of front hedges and that type of stuff i think this was the lot yeah this lot to the right was the one that was 6.5 million dollars um which makes uh uh uh, kind of sense. I don't know. Check out this one. The White House. Yes, Daniel. That was a White House. <laughs> Guys, do you think the White House trend is going to be going out of style here? I don't know. I, I see people on uh, Facebook be like, I'm so tired of the white look on houses. So tired of it. Well, there's a nice little sleek, futuristic, modern looking house right there. stop bro and then uh yeah this kind of just goes back to what i was saying about the safety so within the neighborhood you have the police department right here too so and trust me the cops are like all over the place in here i was like parked for a second not even a second uh now i was parked in a handicap i will say that but not even a second my gopro fell off and the cop like literally within five seconds was like hey man you need to move and i was like oh i'm like gopro i'm like it's all right, let me go down an alleyway in here to kind of show you guys what that's like because that is a little bit of a tight thing. And this goes back to what I was saying about the con in here is that it's just going to be really tight kind of uh, all around. And it's not even like you really see your neighbor because it's like everyone is like fenced off with their own compound. Oh, there's an alleyway. I missed it. Dang it. Let's see if we can find another alleyway. I just want to show you guys like the back side of these houses what that looks like I'm always having to check my lefts and my rights it's like all these cars parked everywhere uh, okay here we go let's go down this way so yeah gonna be a close call backed up right to your neighbor and then that's why I was saying like some of these people you're gonna be able to see into their backyards or some areas so if you're okay with that if you don't really mind that um, you know don't listen to me but you know you can see this house they got like a whole bunch of trees in their backyard not going to really be able to see um the inside of that i've also seen uh, i've also seen some houses now getting built within here that kind of build their house around the pool in the courtyard and keep it more towards the center in the middle all right so that was your tour of an alleyway and that's the other thing you park your car on the side here i mean at some point it will get hit <laughs> like it will that's a crazy looking thing over there. These are some little some houses in here. Alright. So here's the other kind of the other side of the Dallas Country Club. See, 
there's there's some houses in here like you go around and you see the houses that are like like there's no gated community i guess that's the other con in here right is that it's not a gated community now there are some houses in here that are more of like compounds with their own gate entrance and that type of stuff so there are some sprinkled in here that are like even bigger with their own private gating and that type of stuff but for the most part um most of the houses in here you're going to be able to access kind of everything and drive around or, or it really anyone's going to be able to drive around your neighborhood so that's that's kind of some one thing to think about right is you're going to be buying a very very expensive house and uh it's not quite as private as really it could be all right let me head back down this road Um, and then for an example for a lease in here and then I will uh, wrap up the video and that will kind of be the end for the day but uh, if you were thinking about maybe renting in this area for example uh, get a load of this one $15,000 a month to rent a 4,184 square foot house that was built in 2006 four bed five bath with only two cars but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this video hopefully you guys liked my little uh, pros and cons tour and me blabbering about the uh, highland park area and that type of stuff but thank you guys so much for watching i had another great weekend of uh, photo booths hopefully you guys enjoyed my uh, little vlog i did of the photo booth i'm um, showing you guys that so might be doing some more videos as well over the photo booth adding in some real estate that i was talking about uh, last video i did but thank you guys so much for coming back for another video peace and take it easy y'all thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video i got more videos floating around here if you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the dfw area contact me daniel at the home expert team i will be happy to answer any of your questions uh, besides that uh, bye